What's up, y'all? Day Hooks here. I'm out here today with Melinda. He's actually behind the camera right now. Today's little uh, theme, I guess you could call it, is what I like to call bank hopping. We're not going to stay in one spot. We're going to hopefully hit up to about maybe four spots today. Just pretty much out here looking for bigger fish. Spot hopping helps. You hit a lot of spots in a little amount of time. You get to hit all the nice holes, and hopefully something big is staying in one of those holes. All right, y'all. Let's get them. think this little stick fish is. Look how skinny that thing is. Let's count the fins. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 anilary fins. I forget what goes to what so I'm going to have to look that up. But that is a skinny, skinny fish. I'm saying channel cat. Ah! Yeah, I'll just too. Last one? Yeah. Oh shoot. I'm gonna go there. Oh shoot. Which one do you want? You get left, you get left, you get All left. Alright. Alright y'all, only one fish out of spot one. On to spot two. So this next spot we're going to is more main stem river. Water's up, so the current's gonna be a little rough. We're gonna have to stay in fairly shallow. But actually right in front of us there's a nice deep hole. So hopefully there was something. Just chilling there. Oh yeah, He's bending down, bending down. Got him. Got him. Come on. Oh, get out of that stuff. Oh, it's a flathead, yo. It's a flathead. Good eater size. Boom. All right, fish number two. I was gonna say either a channel or a flat with them little skimpy bites. There we go. Awesome. Beautiful specimen, minus all the mud. Good fish, good fish. Good fish, not too bad. Beautiful colors, love when they're nice and yellow and brown. It's a good eater. I'm tempted to chop it up, but I'm not gonna chop it up. I want something a little smaller to chop up, so we're gonna let this guy go. Yeah! Nice. yeah. Right you, oh! Oh! All right, this fish is in a log jam right now. I don't know, man. Might work this one out. Oh yeah, felt like it broke free. Damn it. All right, we're gonna try and get this one out, y'all. Teamwork. I mean, go ahead and try and reel it and stuff. Oh, he's pulling, he's pulling. About to yank it out of my hand. Oh, did you get it? Is it free? Mm-hmm, no, no, no. Let me see. All right, get me for balance. Right. You good? Yeah, get my back for balance if you want. Nah, I'm good. Oh, I'm gonna try to pass it to you. Oh. Thank you. I'm good, I'm good. I'm about to plant up. Oh, he's free, y'all. He's yep, free. Yep. Get back this way. He's free. Watch your step, watch your oh, step. Oh, he was free. There he is, there he is. Got him. Right. Got him. Oh, right into something else. Bro. There's a mud bank right there. Just come this way. There he is, there he is. There he is. Another flathead. Woo! All right. It's about the same size. Wouldn't be surprised if it was the same one, bro. <laughs> That'd be quick. Nah, this one's bigger. Uh, it's definitely bigger. Yeah, it's bigger. Nice. Nice. These flats are out. This one's fat. That's a nice one. That's way bigger. Oh, yeah. That's a sweet, All right. All right. sweet cat right there, y'all. I don't know where I'm holding them. Ah. That was awesome, dude. Thanks for the teamwork. That was no problem, that shit. was vicious. I'm so glad you have long arms. That's what <laughs> bank hopping is all about. Knowing your holes, dropping them in, and if you don't get bites within 20 or so minutes, or even less if you're really on a time crunch, 
keep recasting, keep moving. We're gonna give this spot probably another 20 to 30 and then hit a third spot. Oh! Oh! Felt like another flathead though. This guy right here, y'all, is a master at getting anything out of a tree. This is crazy. I mean, he just, he just slam cast right into this one, but I can't even see it. Look at that. See, I told y'all he lost the bait, but <laughs> I'll wait it out. We'll go to the next spot. All right. <laughs> All right. Here she is y'all. Third spot. What's cool about this spot is see that tree right there. Just right on the outside edge. It just drops. It's like a nice little pool in here. Usually flathead hang in here and some decent sized blues. So let's we'll see what we can catch. Damn. Oh, got him. Got him. Woo. That was intense. <laughs> oh, is it, is it a bait? Can we use it as bait? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, no. That was the perfect bait size, bro. <laughs> Oh! All right, y'all, so action as soon as we got here. Almost had that perfect little bait size fish. <laughs> it always seems like that's the one that gets away, man. The one you want to use. Oh, too soon. Fudge. All right, y'all, we're back at the first spot. Spot hopping. It's produced, uh, what, three fish? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, did he just drop it? Yo! He just dropped it. Yeah. No, it was it was about to get real tight. All right, y'all. I gotta make this quick. My battery's dying, so yeah. Just keep moving and moving and moving. Water's up. Water's flooded. Uh, so you don't want to stick around in one spot for too long because these fish are going to congregate behind anything they can right now since the water's up and moving a lot faster than what they're used to. Just be structure oriented, uh, break lines like what we're fishing here. The water's actually coming through here and it's coming in right this way, but right in the middle there's a seam. I guess I, I don't know if it's really called a seam, but I'm going to call it a seam. And it's just a nice intermediate spot where these fish are holding, coming in every once in a while and feeding. If Melinda does get one, before the battery runs out and everything I guess we can take a picture <laughs> go out there and get them <laughs> da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Get this fish. Yeah, right? <laughs> 